What is up, beautiful people? Corwin L. Gilliams here from CLG Lifestyle. Hope you guys are feeling blessed and grateful to be alive. Some people did not wake up this morning. We did. And in my opinion, that's enough of a reason for us to find the smallest opportunity, opportunity to be grateful. If you've not already subscribed to the channel, do so right now. That way you can stay connected to what it is that I'm doing as a lifestyle influencer slash life, close, life coach. Influencing you to love self. I'm a bit, a little bit tired today. And I'm also itching to eat so um but yeah definitely subscribe like share comment um also check out my ebook i king amongst kings a king david descendant affirmations for the king who's becoming this book will help you change your life because i believe that it's important for us to be who god says we are and part of you doing that or becoming that is by knowing who you are and so God has given us some principles and tools and strategies according to his word to help us do so. And um, I am going to help you do that, right? So I talked about me sharing more about my life as a lifestyle influencer and, you know, coming on and talk to, talking to you more about my everyday life. So for those of you who don't know, I started school in, on, in January. I am. We're going to multitask here because I'm hungry. Not sure if I thank the Lord for this food, but Lord, I thank you for this food, God, because, you know, just the other day I was trying to figure out things financially, but I was able to get some food, so I thank you, God, in Jesus' name, amen. So I said I would talk a lot more about my life and what I'm going through because I believe it's important to inspire people. I believe it's important to be transparent. I believe it's important to show people your change and your transformation. I believe it's important for you to be yourself. And I want to be that. I want to be that for myself. I want to be that for God. Because when I'm myself, it glorifies God. God is happy. Because we're saying to God, we appreciate and we value who you've created us to be. God, I appreciate and value who you created me to be. Forgive me for the times that I didn't love myself, that I didn't appreciate myself. And I thank you for this opportunity to do so and to do so increasingly. In Jesus' name, amen. So I come on here, you know, for some people coming on social media and YouTube is a way for them to express their vanity, to express superficiality, to express their ignorance, to express their inability to think for themselves. You know, people do what they do for what they do, what they do. Me, I want to do what I do intentionally. I want to make sure what I do is transforming people's lives. I want to make sure that if I'm sacrificing transparency or honesty, that is going to help even if it's just one person. Because I know what the Lord did for me and I know what he has had people do for me by them sharing transformatively, by them sharing things that they wouldn't necessarily share or could not have shared because they just didn't have the strength or the courage. So it's important for me to share intentionally, to share with purpose and to share what I believe the Holy Spirit is encouraging me or is giving me to share because not everything needs to be shared. Not anything has value. Not everything has value. The word talks about, you know, the words of a righteous and how it's like choice silver or choice gold. But um, you have to know what you're saying. It's what you're saying. You have to be discerning about what you say. You can't just say whatever come out of your mouth. So I don't know what's going on there. But um, we're going to let it rock out and dry out and do what it do. So... As I said before, I'm going to share more about my life. So I'm back in school again. Again. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> my journey to and from school has been an, a back and forth thing. But I, I believe this in this season, this is the time is right. The time is now. I've done what I need to do by the grace of God on my end. And God has provided me an opportunity to get back to school. And it, it's such a... it's. It's God doing what he does. You know, I can see the hand of God on my life now like never before. I can see how he's orchestrated situations and things for me to be here. And I'm so happy to be, again, finishing. So I'm, I'm doing a completion, a, a completer program. It's an 18-month program. I will be graduating. Hopefully, I'm going to graduate a month earlier because I feel like 
I already have access to an online course that I could use to supplement a month that I may not necessarily have to take and so that would make me graduate earlier but anyways it's an 18 month program I'll be graduating June uh, oh the Holy Spirit said to take y'all on my gra to, to, to videotape my graduation wow I'm taking you uh, so I'll be graduating Jennifer March April May May June of 2025 it depends um, if I get the credit for the class but it's an 18 month course, um, excuse me, an 18, 18 month program and I'll be um, going to law school right after that. So if I graduate June of 2025, I'm starting law school August 2025. So you know what that means? That means I have to start preparing and registering for the LSAT because I plan to take it in January of 2025. So the school of my choice will have my LSAT grades and I'm not even questioning. I'm not even concerned about failing. I'm, I already got the faith to believe that I'm going to do well. I have the faith to believe that the schools that I apply for, they're going to accept. They're going to be happy to have me. They're going to accept my application. I'm going to get scholarships and awards because of my LSAT, because of how well I will be doing in this course, in this, in this, in this current program. And that's just the mindset that I have. I'm not going to downplay it i'm not gonna take away from it i'm not gonna not give god the glory for it because he's the one who has given me the insight to believe that i'm gonna do exceedingly and abundantly well and to him be the glory so i'm taking you guys on this journey you know i'm unconventional and unconventional in more ways than one i'm a 35 year old who is back in school as an undergrad um i'm rebuilding my life i'm reinventing myself and i'm god is you know is is with me and he's he has a path for me or paths for me that i'm choosing to take and follow and i'm just gonna come on here and, and just be candid with you guys just be open as if you know I, i'm on a radio show which is ultimately my goal one of my goals is to be on a radio i heart radio why i heart i don't know i just know that that's where i want to be i want to be on i heart radio so I don't know how God is going to make that happen, but I feel, I believe he gave me a sign that that's where I'm going to be or that's where he wants me to be at some point. So later on today, I might uh, go on iHeart and see what type of internships or type of program stuff that they have as an undergrad that maybe I can apply to and get my foot in. But nonetheless, I'm going to get in there somehow, somewhere. So see this as like a visual radio show where you're seeing me and hearing me talk. But the goal ultimately is to um, be on the radio. I do have a podcast. It's called the Corwin and Gilliams Podcast. The link is in the bio. Okay? Check that out. Cool. It was a process for me to get here. It was a process for me to have the confidence I have about my school and what I will accomplish confidently. It was a, a process for me to have the confidence to be in a room full of people who are younger than me essentially and not feel out of place or not feel awkward it was a process for me to get to a situation where i didn't care how i don't know i didn't know how i was going to pay for tuition i didn't know how i was going to be able to drive to the school that's almost 25 miles from where i live currently i just believed and i guess the current the the, the video message today is just to believe let God work out the details, beautiful people. God give, has given you desires and vision and, and, and things to do. <clears throat> Let him work out the details. Just believe. Just take the steps that you need to take. Also, I want to say, you know, enemies are everywhere. You know, people, enemies as in people who are haters, jealousy, whatever it may be. You may be shining bright like a diamond and they just can't take it. It is what it is, especially... If you're someone who's going to be in the limelight, especially if you're someone who is low key about your stardom, you may know that you're a star, you may know that you shine, but you don't. You're not as braggadocious or as showy as some people. You you keep it humble, you keep it cute and on mute, you know. Unless somebody tried, you know. Nonetheless, you're a star. You know, every one of God's children are stars, especially when you know it. When when you've been filled with the Holy Spirit. And you illuminate with the glory of God, the Holy Spirit is going to shine through you, and you are, and you're going to know that you're a star, you know. And 
It's about you being around the right people who can support that, help you sustain that, and help you cultivate that. You don't want to be around people as Joseph, in the case of his family, who, you know, were jealous of him. They couldn't believe that God had chosen Joseph to be the leader of his family, to bring them into the promised land, or to bring them into a place of rest where they wouldn't have to worry about anything financial, financially and in other ways, right? And I believe God is doing the same thing for us, for you, for me. He has chosen myself. He has chosen you to be a leader in your family, in, in, in your community, um, for his people. You know, God will raise up a leader, a judge, a prophet, a priest, uh, a king, a lord, to be able to lead his people, you know, so that he can um, get them to where they need to be. Even in their rebellion, even in their unrighteousness, you know, God is so loving and so merciful that he will still, you know, leave the 99, f you know, for one. And you're that one, as no, as he did for Noah, that he ha is saying in all the lands, there's but one who is righteous. And he saved him. He saved Noah and the people associated with Noah. I don't necessarily believe Noah's entire family was righteous, but I believe right Noah was righteous in the eyes of God. And because of Noah's love for his family, God saved his family as well. Right. This is not necessarily expressed in the Bible, but this is just what I this is what I discern. And so God is going to do the same for you. It's not that your family deserve any type of saving or any type of blessings, knowing what they did and how they treated you. But God knows your heart and he knew that you were the one who would. Well, he made you to be the one who would do the right thing. That even though there's people in your life who talked bad about you, just literally destroyed your life, oppressed you, suppressed your God given identity, your talents and your gifts. God is still believing that you are the person who is going to turn it around. You are the person who is not going to let the darkness that tried to destroy you, you know what I'm saying, pervert and corrupt what God is going to do through you as a new believer, born again believer in Christ Jesus. We are new creatures in Christ Jesus, born of the Spirit. God has an identity for us. And through this identity, we are going to receive all of the promises of God. There's nothing that the enemy could have done or will be able to do to thwart the plans of God that was prepared in Christ Jesus. This is the truth. So it's about us coming into the revelation, into the understanding as to who we are as children of God. It's being strong in this truth. It's knowing that at the end of the day, you know, the, the enemy goes around like a roaring lion seeking whom he can devour. So ultimately, you know, as you're rising, you're going to have enemies who come out of nowhere. You know, people you will not su suspect. It will be the same. Pe it'll, it'll be the same people that you're working hard and sacrificing for to help and to protect that's going to come against you. And this is, again, one of the ways that the, the, this is what they did to Jesus. Jesus came to save his people, but it was his own people who destroyed him and had him sacrificed. And that's why he said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. These people, when they come for you, when they attack you, they know not what they do. And God wants to have, God wants us to have the heart posture to forgive them. Forgive them, Lord, for they know not what they do. God has forgiven us. So even though I'm saying we're chosen, yeah, we've, we're, we're chosen. We've been favored above all, you know, all the rest. But nonetheless, you know, we still had to be forgiven. We still had to receive God's mercy, his kindness, his love, and his grace. So don't get it twisted. We still have to be humble and, and surrender to God, right? But at the same time, we're not going to let the devil... All the people that he used have us make us feel like we're undeserving or unqualified and, and and inferior because they can't handle the light that God has qualified us to have. God is the one who approved us as his chosen vessels, as his servants. So it's only God that should that should be able to take it away or to question or to condemn. But as we know, the word of God says there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ. So you have to know who you are and you have to understand that... <clears throat> As you're rising and you're shining and you're being yourself and you're glorifying God, there are people who are going to have a problem with it. But I want you to understand that most times, most times, it's not a large sum of people. Most times people are just in their own world. They don't really care. Most times people, they see, but it's like, they've just been around. It's like, you know, it, it, it's not like anything to make them feel any type of way. And then you have those, the one or the two out of like 10 when it comes to probability, right? 
that may have, or maybe just one out of 10 that will have some strong feelings for you that are not positive or that towards you that are not positive, not that are not encouraging or motivational. And sometimes, yeah, they do let it be known how they feel about you by talking about you or trying to be slight to slight you or do different things to, so that you can feel some type of way or feel, feel uncomfortable. But it's just a reflection of who they are and their insecurities and what was done to them, right? <laughs> You can only do, unless the Spirit of God feeds you with creativity and originality, you're going to do and live the the replica of someone else or, or, or what you've learned. You, you won't be able to be yourself. <laughs> this is why, you know, the enemy scheme is kind of like, it's, it's redundant. It's kind of like, okay, what else do you have? This is why God's word remains the same because it's nothing the enemy can do when it comes to the current state of humanity that that can outwit, outlast, outperform who we are in Christ Jesus. The enemy does not have, glory to God, the enemy does not have access to our identity or who we are in Christ Jesus. That's why we've been given all power, all authority, and all dominion over the works of the enemy because the enemy was has not been he didn't he was not given access to this realm to this 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 dimension of living this has been reserved in Christ Jesus amen i hope you guys are receiving this so this is why god wants us to continuously seek his kingdom be transformed by the renewing of our minds know who we are according to the spirit of god so that we are always a thousand steps ahead of the, de the devil you know he can never no matter what he tries he you know we we will never be taken down so for lack of better words we will always be ahead of the game always know how to move we'll always be discerning always be you know what i'm saying wise and 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 just on point guard your heart because out of it comes the fullness of life or, or you know out of the fullness of a man's heart out of out, out of the fullness of a man's heart that shall he speak i believe that's the, that's the word but what it's saying is that when people, when people, when people say certain things or they do certain things, it's what's in their heart. And oftentimes, people hate themselves. People are oppressed. They are blinded by the enemy, and it, it takes the spirit of God to free them. And even with the freedom, they still have to do the work to transform, to transform their life. You have to transform. So. So um, I wanted to encourage you. If you're someone who God has been leading to get back into school, you can do it. You know, God has the right school for you. All of, all of this that I'm doing, you know, I believe was approved by God. You know, I consulted with God. I prayed about it. I pondered. I thought about it. I waited. And then I finally, when I finally felt in my spirit, it was time to make the decision and time to move forward. Everything just started to fall into place. So I encourage you to whatever your plans are, you know, seek God. You know, God is not a boring God. He's not whack and corny. Like that's a lie from the pits of hell. <laughs> hmm. God is not just this one dimensional, you know, strict, um, which I mean, he, He's strict when it comes to like his truths. Like his truths are unchangeable. So it's kind of like he has to be strict about that. But I'm talking about his personality as far as like <laughs> how funny he is and how cool he is and how swaggy he is, you know, um, how different he is, you know. He God is God, you know, and um <clears throat> he, it, it's in your best interest to get to know him who created you. And to learn to love him because he first loved us. So, CLG Lifestyle Influencing You to Love Self is going to encourage you and inspire you and motivate you. I'm taking you on this journey with me. I want this platform to, you know, to be honest with y'all, I need this platform to start prospering monetarily. Um, because, you know, I want to do more of this content. I want to elevate my production, my publishing. I want to elevate, you know my life so I can come on and give you more beauty, more courage, more strength and share with you just the wonder that I believe God is doing in my life. But I'm going to share in this capacity until it changes. You know, I'm believing for some, some amazing things, you know, I'm 
my new home, you know what I'm saying, my the, the, the wife that God has for me, you know what I'm saying, um, that it's, that's that's been prophecy to me, you understand, um, relationships, business relations, you know, travel, my family, you know, my family coming together, you know, family vacation, employee vacation, you know what I'm saying, as a as an emerging big, big boss, you understand, I have plans as far as, you know, and desires and, and visions for how I want my company to run and, and how I want us to go on vacations, you know, like, as a, as a team, you know, shut down the business, you understand me, shut it down for a month, <coughs> and we all go on vacation, as a family, as a unit, that's if you want, some people, you know, they want to go wherever you want to go, but shut it down for a month, you know, out of the year, why not, take the time to refresh, and take the time to seek God, and invest in your time with God, and Give God the glory for what He's done and the beautiful, the beautiful life that He's created for us to have, for me to have as a, as a man, as a man of God, as a, a family man, as a businessman, as an influential person, as a billionaire. You can call me billionaire Biddy. Speak that in. We speak that you know in in advance. Billionaire Biddy. You know Biddy is like a uh, a name that my family gave me. So we add billionaire to the front of that. Billionaire Biddy. It sounds good. It's a good ring. So I'm just walking it out, y'all. I'm just walking it out. And, you know, it's not always pretty in the beginning. But the peace of God makes it pretty. The peace God gives you, you know, it makes you ignore the foolishness and ignore the things that would have people fall out because they just can't take the stress or, the, you know, the, the, the weight that comes with just trying to figure things out and, and trusting God is not necessarily easy. But I do believe, you know, the more you grow in your relationship with God and understand that he is valid. <laughs> God is valid. He's, you know, talking about cool and swaggy or, or, or just, you know, relevant. God is God is that. He, he, he's, he's a creator. You know, the devil can't create anything. So a lot of people get it misunderstood um you know when it comes to things that are being created in our society when it comes to cool what we think is cool and fun i'm not talking about slackness and vulgarity and perversion and, and things that are just dirty i'm just talking about the things that are just beautiful and just just cool and makes you laugh and it's just like wow you're like wow mm. You know, who is that? Who is that? Who, who, you know, that whatever that is, you know, that comes from God. <laughs> man, she looked good on man. He looked, you know, whatever that is, you know, the, the person that the, the, the guy want to, the, the guys want to be like, and the person, the girls want to be with, you know, it's, it's like, or the, the person, the girls want to be like, and the guys want to be with, you know. God, it, it comes from God, right? God gives us this beauty and this this majesty and just and and this glory that people can't really put a language to it if they're not spiritually aware. But to those of us who are spiritually aware, we know that it's God. We know that it's the glory of God, because the blessing of the Lord make it rich. Rich. Another word for rich is refined. Another word for rich is, you know, like wealthy, of course, but. It's like excellence, the best of the best, you know, the best of the best when it comes to your relationship, when it comes to your clothes, when it comes to the food that you eat, when it comes to your education, when it comes to your business, when it comes to how you live your life, the best of the best, excellence, glory to God, That's, that comes from God, God gives us the vision and the heart and the taste, taste, the taste comes from God, God gives us a taste of the goodness of God, taste and see that the God is good, taste and see that God is good taste god elevates our taste anyways so as you're transforming and becoming the person that god has to call you uh as you're transforming and becoming the person god has created in christ you're going to change how you walk how you talk how you dress your voice it's going to change don't be afraid of it don't be afraid to lose people don't be afraid to be stripped of the people, places, and the things that will no longer serve you as you become this person that God in Christ Jesus died for you to have. 
It is an honor to be chosen by God. It is a privilege to have life and life more abundantly and to do things God's way this time as we exercise the free will that was given to us with a clear mind, new heart, new spirit. It's a blessing and it's something that you cannot buy. It is something that no one can give to you. And it's something that you can't have once your breath is gone, when the, when, once the breath of life is gone. So, and my young, mature, fun age of 35, I'm so grateful that I didn't receive God when I was 88 on a bed or 99 on a bed somewhere, you know, alone and, and, and with no family. I received Christ at 26, going on 27. And yeah, I wish it was at 17, you know, but 10 years later, 27. Thank you, Lord. I'll take it. Now let's, let's run. Let's, let's catch up. You know, you said this is my season of restoration. This is my season of more acceleration. Let's go. All that the enemy stole, all that the canker worms ate, all that you've been trying to get me to do since my high school, teenage, university, college years is being restored to me now. Let's go. I didn't miss I didn't miss anything. Okay, let's go. So I'm here to encourage you, beautiful people, that to let you know as the creator of CLG Lifestyle, influencing you to love self. God loves you and wants the best for you. And this is the day that He's made. Let us rejoice and be glad. He's worthy to be praised and He deserves all the glory. Not to be ashamed about Him, you know, not to talk about Him in a way that you're trying to prove to people that God exists. Let your life do the talking. Let your life do the what it needs to do, to do. I always say, you know, my life is a walking, well, now driving, one day flying, <laughs> one day just overall living billboard of the goodness of God. Because had it not been for God, I don't know where I would be. And I don't want to know. I don't want to know where I would be if it wasn't for God. I, I really don't. I don't want to know. And I really don't care to know. I really don't. And this is not to play what God did for me. This is not to downplay what, this is just, to, this is expressing my gratitude and my joy and my delight and my forever eternal gratefulness for what God did for me. Let bygones be bygones. So this is why it's important for you to forgive, to let go and to move forward in the things of God because just like Joseph, his family, when they finally came back to, when they finally reconnected, they didn't even recognize him. Joseph had changed so much they didn't even recognize him. He was speaking a whole other language. They, they, they didn't recognize him, okay? Not only that, when on Joseph's end, he, though he was hurt and, and felt betrayed and had dealt with, I, be, I believe, so much pain, he, had, he was able to forgive them. And I believe it was at the appointed time in his heart that they were forgiven that God began to orchestrate and move to make their reconnection um, happen. Glory to God. And God is going to do the same for you when it's time for you to reconnect with the people, places, and things that you had to leave behind for a season, for some time, because God had to work on you and develop you and train you and, and, and reestablish you as his servant so that when you, when he promotes you or puts you in a position of leadership and authority and, 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 and all of that good stuff, that you're not wavered by decisions or from by experiences from your past. You're not... You know what I'm saying? You're not affected by anything or anyone who would jeopardize what God has blessed you with. You need to know that God is your number one source and your only source. And from him, everything else comes. And that's what he had to get in the mind and in the heart of Joseph. This is why he had to get Joseph alone, away from his family. This is what I believe he did with David. Even after David was anointing, he had to go back. He went back to the, to the fields because this was Moses. You know, he left, he left Egypt and he had to go away. You know, God knows how to train his people and develop his people. He needs to train us in the way that we should go. Amen. Because as born again believers, we are now reconnected to our heavenly father. And his, and his word says, train a child up in the way that they should go. So as born again believers, we are being trained by God, our father, in the way that we should go so that we shall not depart from it. So you see how scripture is applicable the way God wants it to, to be applied. This is why it's important for you to read the word for yourself and to just cultivate your relationship with God. And God is going to give you the strength and everything that you need to be you. It is in being you that you're going to prosper. It is in being you that prosperity, success, open doors, opportunities are going to come to you. By being you. Not by being someone else. 
not by um not by being someone else not by imitating someone else by being you so i just wanted to encourage you again uh if you want to uh purchase my ebook it's called i king amongst kings a king david descendant affirmations for the king who's uh, becoming the link is in the description box it's a free ebook ready to read or download i also have um my podcast, the Cornell Williams podcast, the link is available. Also, if you want to support my platform, I have my cash up there as well. Beautiful people, it was a good day today. I take evening classes, and um, it was good. I enjoyed my class. I enjoyed my. I, I'm enjoying my classmates, and um, I get it. I'm, I'm so I'm so grateful to God for what He's doing in my life, and I pray that you are in a season, or that you get to the season where, you know, God is is doing some wonderful things in your life. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Talk to y'all soon. Corwin L. Gilliams from CLG Lifestyle signing out.